Okay, we're going to use GeoGebra to look at uh, matrix multiplication. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do in GeoGebra is change my view. so that I am eliminating the graphics view and activating the spreadsheet view and that way we can enter our matrices in the spreadsheet. So I'm going to do question number six so I'm going to enter two, negative three, six, five, one, four for the first matrix and just going down a little bit the second matrix two, four and three, negative two matrices in the spreadsheet mode. I highlight my items in the first matrix and I do this little drop down and say create matrix. I'm going to name it A. I'm going to do the same thing for the uh, second matrix. And this one I'm going to name matrix B. I have my two matrices and let's first of all decide whether they're compatible for multiplication. A is three rows by two columns and B is two rows by two columns. So a uh, three by two and a two by two are compatible because the columns in the first matrix equals the rows in the second matrix and the result is going to be the rows in the first matrix and the number of columns in the second matrix, which would be a three by two. Now the advantage of us using matrices, it's like looking at the forest instead of all the trees. I can go down to my input bar and say A times B. And I get the resulting matrix, uh, which they automatically labeled matrix one for us, all right? If I try to go matrix B times matrix A, it is undefined because it's not compatible because the columns of B does not equal the rows of A. And so they would not be compatible for multiplying B times A. So multiplication of matrices is one directional.